Oh, good. Do I have to talk um, fast? Great to have you back here on The Morning Brew. I'm Larry Ernst with Matt Gentry. Uh, a real pleasure to welcome State Senator Lisa Taraco uh, joining us here at the table. And um, Lisa, can I call you Lisa? Absolutely. Do I have to call you Senator? Yeah, no, nobody does. Nobody <laughs> okay. does. Lisa, Thanks. The, what's the timeline on this? Is this just announced? Did it uh, get announced yesterday, today? What, what's happening? Um, we've been meeting over the summer. Yes. And yesterday we had our final meeting where we made the decision of what bills that we are going to endorse Great. and move okay. forward. So you, this is very timely. It happened last night at 5. So. Wow, the, the timing yeah. is great. Yeah. Uh, you were with us when you started this project, and right. you said, here's what we hope to do. And it looks like uh, you've accomplished most we've of it. We've gotten stuff done. Yeah, yeah, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling to be elected with a mandate that you're going to do something, and then you get it done, and that's what people want. So I feel Today, I feel great. Let's see if we can get it passed, but we accomplished what we set out to do. It's step one. A lot of these reforms in other states have taken up to four years, but we have a step one in a year, which is a huge accomplishment. All right, so lay the groundwork here. What, uh, what did you want to do? What, what are some of the big things that you and this committee tried to accomplish? It's a bipartisan effort, right? Mm -hmm. um, what were some of the, the key things that you wanted to get done in this criminal justice reform? Okay, well, our biggest mandate was um, we wanted to bring justice back to the criminal justice system. So uh. obviously taking a look at what is fair and what is right for people. Um, and the principles we were driven by, number one, was to eliminate government waste because we're spending an excessive amount of money in the criminal justice system from the police all the way through to when a person is released on parole. So number one was to eliminate government waste. And number two was to never sacrifice public safety. Public safety always has to be the guiding principle. So we've come up with what we consider a very powerful step one. We still have more work to do. Um, but step one is, um, it's going to be good. It's going to save the taxpayers millions of dollars. My personal goal is to divert that money into K through 12 education. Good. So I think we're on the right track. and never compromise public safety. That's the, that's the most important thing. There are bad guys that need to be locked up for a long period of time to keep us safe, and we don't want to compromise that. What is alternative sentencing? Um, alternative sentencing is a lot of things. It can be the ankle bracelet so that we can monitor on GPS where people are um, and set curfews and house arrest. But that way we know if they're really doing house arrest and where they're at. And the nice thing about that is you can have one probation officer literally monitoring 10 to 20 people and their whereabouts at one time. And that would be for offenders who, again, are not a risk to public safety. Those are our embezzlers and, um, you know, people who have committed crimes selling alcohol to a minor. That's a felony right now. Do we really want to spend $100 a day to lock them up in the pen? Or can we do an ankle bracelet? One of the things we um, endorsed yesterday was halfway houses, mm -hmm. um, and those would be for low-level mm -hmm. drug offenders. So that's an alternative sentencing, transitional living facilities, um, intensive supervision, behavioral health monitoring. So those are alternatives, mm. and they're a lot cheaper than jail. Does microchipping work the same as ankle bracelets? <laughs> does, does Somebody what? said we should microchip the. Oh, presence. microchip! No. <laughs> you know they do. Have the dogs. We're not going to do that. I, hey, I'm just saying the that's, word on the street is. <laughs> that's what we do to our dogs, right? Yeah. yeah. No. So what happens with the, this committee's recommendations? This goes to the legislature in some form. Right. Um, we're a subcommittee, so it goes to the larger criminal justice. Um, it's CCJ Courts Corrections and Justice Committee, and that'll be on December 5th. And then the legislat legislative session starts um, January 20th. And because the committee was bipartisan, because we had equal numbers of state senators and state representatives, um, I think we're in a good position to go in. And we only pass things that would pass unanimously. So, That's interesting. Yeah, if you there mean, was one dissenting vote, we set the legislation aside to do right. it next year. So all of this is unanimous consent, if you will. Mm -hmm. That's really powerful. Right, That's right. 
Very historic. I like to use the word historic. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. You mean we're actually going to get something done? I, that's why I'm excited, <laughs> oh, no. right? No, we're actually getting stuff done. Yeah. And I'm a Republican, and I'm a co-chair with Representative Maestas, who's the Democrat. That's unprecedented. Yeah. And then we have equal numbers, and most committees in the Senate or in the legislature don't have equal numbers of Republicans right. and Democrats. Right. Um, no, this was big, and we agreed, and I think we've got some good stuff. Awesome. This is, uh, this is heartening news. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Well, I mean, this is how government is supposed to work. Yeah. And so for me, it's exciting to be a part of something that's how government is supposed to work, what people elect us to do, get stuff done in a bipartisan way. Do you want to hear from people? Oh, absolutely. Okay. We have an email address. Good. Do you want me to say it? Sure. Okay. It's nmlegis, L-E-G-I-S, dot gov. Okay. Um, so it's, okay, wait, it's <laughs> CJRS, which is the Criminal Justice Reform Subcommittee at nmlegis, dot gov. Okay. Now, the website, nmlegis, dot gov, is where they can check and review the legislation we're proposing. And it's all on the web, and they can take a look at it, and then they can email us. With input. I think you deserve a lot of credit. Thank you for heading this Thank up. you for Golf having class. me. Thank you. Not just me, it's for the whole yeah, committee. Yeah, the we whole did good. committee. Great job. Thanks. We're thrilled. We are and too. Thank thanks you. for being here today. Thank good you. To Thank you. Have me back anytime. You, yeah, we will. It's hard to get up this early, but I'll be back. <laughs> Look at you get all this work done this morning. I know. State Senator Lisa Taraco with us today. All right, we're going to have performances next half hour here on the Morning Brew. Just sit tight. You're going to be entertained right after this. I'm going to sing, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah.